Can you tell us a little bit about um, what the award means for you and how the final steps which got you from being a stage six hospital to a stage seven? Okay, well, uh, thank you for your congratulations. And uh, first, I would like to say that I will answer your question first from a nursing perspective, if that's all right, because I'm the Chief Nursing Information Officer of the Radboud UMC, and then a little bit about uh, what it means for the hospital as a whole. So first, to start with nursing, uh, because it's an opportunity to get this message uh, brought along, of course, now. Uh, as nurses, we are really pleased that we finally have some tools with our uh, new uh, electronic health record to uh, to make our own quality improvements driven by data and that's what the new record is uh, offering us and that's something we did not experience uh, the last uh, 50 hundred years perhaps so that's that's great to have this opportunity to get our own data and to uh, get into quality improvement of course and uh, for the hospital as a whole I think uh, it's not only the nurses that have these opportunities but all users of our system that have data now available to improve on their practice. For the nursing department at the hospital, what, what has this meant for them, for, for your staff in particular? Well, I think um, I have to be, of course, uh, say well, how it is nowadays, but uh, it's not that all nurses are using it, but of course we will try to improve as much as we can on this. And for example, our nursing leaders now have access to these data so they can really be on top of it and get their nurses to work on quality improvement. And that's really something that motivates nurses to not only to register because they have to register data, but to use those data. And that's, that's really that motivates us to use uh, information technology in our work as nurses. That, doesn't come natural to us because we have a profession that's not aiming on data and registration. But now we can use it for patient improvements. That's really a big motivation for us. So we're really pleased that we are now in this world of data technology and, and able to use them. And I really say that from the heart because it's the truth right now. So I think that's great. And what also is great that we can now enter the world of uh, information technology and also um, well, discuss this with our colleagues like uh, physicians, like paramedics. Now we can form a real community that can combine our forces to improve on uh, health improvements, so to say. So that's really, we feel connected with our colleagues in, this, in the hospital right now. I think that's the biggest uh, benefit of all these efforts that we've put into this him 6 to him 7 stage. What do you think this means um, for the patients of your hospital as well? Well, I think, uh, for example, I'll, I'll take you to, to, to two examples that we have worked out in this uh, him 6 to 7 stage uh, performance for the inspectors. And that's uh, also on the nursing uh, department. It's uh, like to say, like, um, we know that patients have problems with malnutrition or being malnutritioned uh, as they come into hospital. Now that we have these data, we can monitor those patients far more closely and we can act right on the spot, so to say, to improve on interventions for these patients. And we have done that on several wards, or the nurses have done that, uh, because it's really special that nurses are now the owners of those data and that they can use them themselves to get those improvements uh, brought forward. And they do that. There are teams of nurses that yeah, read these data every day in their patient uh, meetings. And they say, well, we haven't registered that good today because several patients have not filled in their data and we want to be on top of it and we want to be in control. So they really start well, to improve on this. And some malnutrition rates, for example, on some wars have really improved from, let's say, 25% to almost 100. And that's, of course, our norm. That's what we want to use and want to reach for. Uh, the same for pain management. It was quite well, we thought, but now we got those data and we realized it could be better. It could be really be better. And as we, yeah, are the owners of our own data now, uh, surely as the patient is also I hope in the near future the owner of his data, uh, we start to improve and that's really a big boost for all of us. So yeah, it's a new dimension in our profession, so to say. So it's, it's really great. What are the next steps now for Radbund Hospital? Well, yeah, um, 
Of course, you can be very glad when you get the stage seven in this uh, in this hymns uh, uh, validation. But we were really convinced from the start on to to reach for uh, hymns seven that it's only the beginning of what we strive for, and and that's really we that's something we really thought through with our team, of course. And we said, well, it's 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 not hymns seven; it's seven up. So we, we will strive for bringing forward this hymns uh, thought, uh, this hymns well, culture and attitude, so to say, but we want to strive for far more. So we want to expand on our data, information technology, of course, uh, involve nurses and other healthcare workers more and more into handling these data and, and get creative with them. Also our patients, of course, that's, that's one of our main ambitions, to get our patients involved into this data and start thinking with them how to improve on it. And I think that's our core business as a hospital also.